The third step of our project is to label our lines to the east all the way up to 180 degrees. So again, think of our protractor and you can see that it doesn't, we're not going all the way around, we're just going this half. And so we have zero all the way to 180. And so I can tell then that my 180 is directly across from the zero. And you might be wondering, well, does that one, is that still the prime meridian? No, because it's not going through Greenwich, England. This, when I bring it all the way around, this line over here is called the international date line. And that is the 180 degree mark to the east. And then if I want I 180 degrees to the west. So that's called the international date line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this line, this main line all the way through. And I'm going to put label that as 180 degrees. So here it is, at the um, 180 degree mark, I have my international date line. Now, again, I'm starting with my prime meridian. I'm going back here and I'm gonna go to the east. I would like for you to think about a compass rose. And the compass rose gives us our directions. We have north, south, east, and west. So I'm going to go ahead and label my lines by degrees from zero to 180, and I'm gonna make sure I put an E so that I know that that's to the east. So I'm gonna go 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, all the way up to 180, okay? So I'm gonna push pause on my video, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna come right back and show you what that looks like. So I had this handy decorative tape and so that is what I use to show my meridians or my lines of longitude. Now, since my model is an apple and it's not very big, I would have been making tiny little slivers to get every 10 degrees. So what I did is I looked at my prime meridian and I looked at my international date line, which was the 180 degree mark, and I knew half of that would be 90. So I put my first line here with 90 and I labeled that 90 degrees east because I'm east of the prime meridian. Then I split my 90, my zero and 90 in half. I knew that was be, would be the 45 degree mark. And so I labeled that one 45 degrees east. And I did the same thing over here with 90 and 180. I put it at the 135 degree mark and that's 135, 135 degrees east. So you can see here, that I have my model of the earth, my prime meridian, and I have my degrees east all the way up to the international date line. So this is what you should have at this point.